So one of the things if you take too much acid you will realize is that everything is kind of like a measure of degrees as in everything is a bit like a radio station where you just have to keep tuning it a little more to the left or a little more to the right uh, kind of like an analog dial if anyone's ever had music equipment you know all about those little nice dials that you turn the, you know, the volume up and down life's a little bit like that on a grander scale where kind of you can think of it like a ladder maybe that's another one or like a pizza where there's different pieces I like to use the level 1 to 10 or 0 to 10 method which essentially level 0 is you've never done something level 10 is you're a cosmic overlord master of whatever you're doing level 5 is a um, professional kind of that's once you've hit the professional level which more or less means that you can start making money off something. You're not a master at it, but you're certainly no beginner. If you ever had to do some kind of work project, like someone needed a, I don't know, some kind of modeler for a video game or an animation, you could do it uh, fairly easily. That's level five. So then if we look at other things, level three is kind of when you're like a, a confident beginner. That's when you start getting, you know, good enough at something that you don't really need to use tutorials as much you don't really need to be chained to uh, you know uh, reference material etc I find if you're kind of new at life that takes probably around three years to achieve if you're slow or you're lazy or you're just you don't have the time to put into work it can still take you around three to two years but the older you get you can get to that stage around uh, yeah, around two years. Um, if you're really good at things, around one year. The professional level five takes maybe around. If you if you really grind at something, it could take you about five years, up to around ten years, I find. And then if we put it, uh, if we go to the next level, level eight would be a master, I would say, which can take you anywhere to twenty, thirty, even forty, fifty years. At that. And then level 10 is going to take you your entire life, or you just need to be born an absolutely blessed person. Something like that. But anyway, essentially the main point is that, you know, everything in life is a measure of degrees and levels. One way to think about it is if you're trying to walk to a shop, uh, there's lots of houses on your way to the shop. And these houses are like semi-levels or little levels, and the shop is the main level. So life is like that, where you're going to take a bunch of steps to get to where you want to get to. And um, then you plateau, you, know, you reach a, 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 um, a flat ground, and then you reach another plateau, etc, etc. I have found that... I think the people of today have a difficulty with reality. I'd make the point that they're better with computers than physical reality, but it's actually not exactly true. It is inherently true that, say, younger people, maybe people under around 30, 40, <clears throat> are quite skilled with electronics because they grew up with them. But I think people of today, the younger folk, just seem to have a disability. Um, I would imagine this came from two things. Usually the the boomers living a very degenerate lifestyle which um, destroyed their genetics and also uh, childhood and baby vaccines. It actually doesn't matter I think what you would inject or what chemicals you would use on a baby. Um, I think anything you put into it would actually harm it because you're, you're using so much material in something so small and so undeveloped that even if you like made some kind of extraction like a chemical salt extraction from a lemon or an orange you're still gonna make ripples on that baby so um, I mean, personally I do think vaccines are poison inherently but uh, yeah you know putting that in a baby is just terrible so I think that uh, gave a lot of people like forms of autism spectrum disorder learning disabilities <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, just the inability to function in reality in general.
that's what I've seen at least from my uh, peers, the people you know, older than me, and especially the people younger than me. I think we've hit the peak of the lowest point of genetics with the cusp of Gen Alpha and um, Gen Z. And it's going to have to improve just because that's the way cycles work, but it will improve through us learning and doing better and, you know, cultivating our bodies and minds, uh, spiritual force, etc., etc. So, um, because otherwise humanity is going to die out. But of course, that's not going to happen. You know, we're too stubborn to die. Um, but yeah, I'll explain more on this inability to function in reality. It seems like the current young generations, and maybe it's just because I didn't see the boomers and the you know, the millennia, the the Gen X grow up, but um, it seems like they have some weird di disability functioning in reality, um, where they just can't seem to 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 make things happen and to do things. I mean, if you look at the Gen X and boomers, around their twenties and thirties, they were having you know, they were earning good money, they were having families, they were buying homes. Uh, they had cars, they had all this, they were starting even businesses, they were um, vastly more worldly experience than, you know, the people nowadays. Uh, it seems that a lot of people are, you know, trapped in addiction cycles, I find. They're trapped, and if they're not trapped in addiction cycles, they're trapped in like a work addiction cycle where they're just kind of meanlessly, uh, I mean, yeah, kind of meaninglessly working. Um, to support a you know like a degenerate lifestyle, and it is very related to the time. So you have to be a strong person nowadays to not fall into this trap, um, and you have to work hard to not fall into this trap. Especially, you do want to work hard because you don't want your children to, you know, go down that degenerate pathway. But um, spiritually, I see this as a dysfunction of the root chakra where the root chakra and the crown chakra are kind of polar opposing um, points and um, I also mean like the um, the, the gateways, the, the root gate and the, the crown gate as well but they're polar opposing and um, if one's not functioning the other isn't functioning and I do notice it seems like people they're not functioning on all cylinders so to speak they're not functioning 100% well the older people just seem to do that naturally and again it could be a, um, a thing of age I'm not quite sure but I do notice that um, well actually you can also look at it physically. Physically, like a lot of people in their 20s and 30s aren't quite the physical people of 50, you know, 80 years ago. And again, I guess that is just, you know, we're living in the degenerate time. So, anyway, uh, going on. I do also think society has become more difficult. Um, we have so many rules and regulations, so much bureaucracy, so much government and paperwork that it's become an absolute nightmare to achieve most of anything. Um, it's getting to the point where it's actually easier just to live underneath the law and the paperwork and all that. Though sadly, if you want to get any kind of real corporate job and earn decent money, you have to follow all of that. So um, I do think life's gotten to a point where it's too difficult. I know that sounds strange, you know, if people think, oh, well, there's food abundant and all that stuff, but it's more that society has become, you know, easy for the rich, but difficult for the poor, because the poor aren't able to hunt in nature anymore, they're not able to build houses and all that, and do all that stuff that people of hundreds of years ago could do, 200 years ago, to be completely honest, even 100 years ago, uh, you know, men were still building houses, and uh, women were still having, like, 10 children and all that. So we're, we're, we're just physically, and that's why I mean genetically, genetically, physically, we just don't have that ability anymore. Um, so it's been, it's more, more complicated to survive in society where if you don't follow the correct path, uh, you'll, you'll get caught by the wayside. Uh, that actually happened to me, so I can kind of, you know, give you some perspective where if you don't, like, have a car by the, by your 20s, you're not going to get a job um, unless you, you know someone. And if you don't get a job, you can't, you know, put a, get a mortgage on a house. It's basically if the, the seed is not strong enough to, to penetrate the earth, it's just going to die underground, which is essentially what we've created a society of. Um, 
with all of these, you know, incredible rules and restrictions and regulations. And it's, um, <clears throat> of course, you need rules and restrictions and regulations, but when it gets in the way of a regular person's life, it gets to a really bad point, essentially. Oh, wow, I'm looking at the time, and four minutes just went away like that. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm noticing in my own life that, um, just say if I look at myself ten years younger, I didn't have, <clears throat> obviously, I didn't have the same abilities as I do now. And um, ten years in the future, I'll have, you know, I'll be much more expansive. Hopefully, I'll kind of be at the point that I want to be in life. Uh, you know, not trapped in the underworld, essentially, <laughs> as I am now. Um, mm. And um, <clears throat> basically what I'm trying to say is that every year, you know, we get a little bit better, we learn a little bit more. And even even over the last two years, you know, I've grown so much. Even the last three, five years, I've grown so much. So, But it's still, I'm still not at the point that I want to be. I'm still not at that middle ground above, you know, above the earth. I still feel trapped. Um, there's a horrific scene that I don't want to talk about that's in my mind. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll not explain that, but um, it relates to my situation, to the situation. Anyway, essentially, things get better. And I guess that's what you tell someone who wants to kill themselves. You tell them that, you know, honestly, life's still going to suck for you, but, you know, if you want to stick it out, maybe in 10 years you'll feel good and you won't want to kill yourself. <laughs> it's a lovely person. It's a lovely thing to say. Someone who's you know, right at the edge of a cliff or whatever, you know, <sighs> whatever. <clears throat> Basically, try to notice the the improvements that you have in life, and um, you know, maybe you'll be a bit happier. Even I notice when, just say, like I was playing mahjong, and I start to notice things that I wouldn't notice. I start to like look at other people's tiles and be like, okay, I can kind of predict what they have, what they're doing a little bit better now. And that's just like, naturally I wouldn't have thought about that, but um, it's almost as if we're a water balloon. You know, a water balloon's small until it gets bigger. Um, you just keep passively filling up the balloon with, excuse me, with water, and then eventually it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And, um, it gets to a bigger stage and bigger stage and eventually you, you have the more perspective. You're able to like see and think more and um, all that and like things that you never knew were possible. You know, same with martial arts. I'm, I'm figuring out always new martial art things and um, it's because I'm always practicing it and I'm always getting better. And this is passively. As you passively just live, you will get the ability to you know, perceive more and do more. Um, that's why they say once you're about 30 years old, it's the best time to learn things because you, you already, you've got a bunch of life experience and apparently you can learn like, you can almost become a master at something in about one to three years. It's quite incredible. Um, I saw that in the art community, you know, artists at that age would be much better than people doing it for like 10 years when they're under that age. It's, it's really quite incredible and um, annoying. <laughs> if you're young, life is incredibly frustrating. Especially in today's age, because literally, I mean, we're all in fucking house arrest. Well, not all of us. If you live in a non-slave country, in a non-slave state, you're not on house arrest. But for the rest of us, we're in fucking house arrest. Uh, for something that doesn't even exist. Um, and we're literally, whoever runs the fucking government is trying to <laughs> inject people with poison. I mean, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck reality are we living in? I mean, this is crazy. Um, and if, if you didn't think things were bad on that end, like, just look at how shitty the economy is. Look at how fucking hard it is to make money. Um, look at how, like, degenerate, uh, the young people who you have as a dating pool are. Like, life is fucked on every single angle. Um, yet, you know, I like to stay optimistic, so I, I know things will get better, because they can't survive this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know something will get better, because if it doesn't, it dies. Um, you know, change is constant. We're always things are always changing. It's a pain in the ass. Reality is always moving. The cosmic clock is always moving. So you have to learn to adapt, and things that don't adapt just simply die, or they drain from everything. We all know that that 
bastard who doesn't do any work and just drains from every system, every person, emotionally drains everyone. No one fucking likes him, but it's because no one can stand up to him. That is literally the government. It's that fat fuck friend that no one stands up to. Everyone fucking hates and um, drains the life out of everything, everyone, everything. And everyone tries to subtly and passively get away from it. And if you, we, don't, we, if we don't grow the balls to tell them to shut the fuck up and to piss off and that we're not going to take it anymore. That um, essentially we're all just going to get drained until we die. Because that, that person is stuck in the past, they are stuck, they are a rock, and um, we need to start building ourselves, our own selves up, you know, we need to start becoming our own person, if you haven't already, uh, you need to treat yourself with the highest respect and see others as beneath you or equal to you, depending on where they actually stand, if someone respects themselves, they can be an equal, they don't, they are beneath. Uh, you don't have to pretend that people are as good as you or pretend that people are you know, equal to you if they're genuinely not. Anyway, that was a little bit of a rant. Uh, I think you get the point is in, <laughs> yeah, everything's a measure of degrees and that's that. Anyway, I hope you like my ranting. Um, you only get it every so often, so maybe it's a little delicacy. Anyway, I don't know. Um, if you like that, check out my the little description box down below. I've got my email if you want to email. Comments, I don't always, I'm not always able to read and I don't always get descriptions, uh, notifications for, so yeah, last, but um, if you just, if you email me, I'll see it for whatever, you know, whatever things you want to talk to me about. Uh, otherwise, commercial stuff, I've got that all down below. Check out my Gumroad. I've got most of my books and my good stuff there. Uh, Fiverr, if you want services, or if you want a different service, just email me. Anyway, have a nice day, and uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. I have just uncovered a slave camp. This is fucked up. Look at him. It's green. That's not healthy. And they're making these little, these kind of carpets or something. Oh yeah, they even.